Hey, I'm Uriel Kane, author of Eating for Energy. Thank you for joining our second lesson on the Raw Food Diet 101. Today we're talking about what are enzymes, what they're all about, and why they're important uh, for a lot of different aspects of your health. So first of all, what is an enzyme? Well, we need to qualify or classify enzymes in really a couple different categories first. Uh, first we have food enzymes. So if I take uh, you know, my bananas here, which are obviously they're, they haven't been cooked, they are raw. Right? They will have enzymes in them to help digest the actual banana. So when you eat a banana, the banana has enzymes which will actually help digest itself. That's a food enzyme. Then we have metabolic enzymes which are produced within the human body. Those metabolic enzymes are used for every single process you can possibly imagine. From me talking to processing every single food, I mean, every single possible reaction in the body from blinking to running to moving a muscle to thinking to everything, enzymes are needed for those, for those reactions. Uh, then we have digestive enzymes, and digestive enzymes are enzymes produced in the pancreas uh, of the human body, and they are secreted into the digestive tract to help your body digest foods. And here's the big benefit of eating more raw foods because raw foods bring enzymes into your body. They don't deplete your body of enzymes like a lot of other cooked foods do. So if you remember the first lesson we talked about, when a food is cooked above 118 degrees Fahrenheit, it becomes dead, right? It no longer has the enzymes, but those enzymes basically become denatured. They don't work anymore. And that really makes, makes life a little more difficult for your body because your body has a finite, right? So it has a limited number of enzymes over the course of your life. And the more you deplete those enzymes out of your body, the more your body has to work and, uh, at digesting foods and is gonna look for extraneous uh, aids and able to do so. So there's, I mean, there's research that's showing correlations between how long you live and the number of enzymes in your body. And very simply, when you run out of enzymes, you run out of life. So think of it as a bank account. And I talk about this in, in my book, Eating for Energy. Uh, you have an enzyme bank account. And if you're eating cooked foods all the time, right, foods that have no enzymes in them because they've been cooked, you're taking enzymes away from, from your body. In essence, you're demanding your body to secrete all, a lot of its digestive enzymes into the stomach, into the digestive tract to break down these foods so that you can benefit from them. On the flip side, if you're eating more raw foods, raw foods are full of food enzymes, which means that these enzymes are coming into your stomach with the food, and now your body, your, your pancreas for instance, doesn't have to secrete as many enzymes because the food is inherently full of enzymes which will help its own digestion. And that makes a huge difference because what that means is that now your body can focus more of its energy not on digestion, but I'm diverting its energy into metabolic processes. So breaking down immune complexes, uh, breaking down dead cells, regenerating tissue within the body, all sorts of things where the body should be spending more of its time and energy can be done simply by adding more raw foods into your diet because of the food enzymes coming in with those foods. I hope that makes sense. So, Enzymes, we're talking about food enzymes, but the, we also kind of link them in with digestive enzymes and metabolic enzymes that are produced in the body. The goal is to save your body's enzymes, bring more enzymes into your bank account, if you want to call it that, with more raw foods. Again, if you cook a food above 118 degrees Fahrenheit, those enzymes become destroyed, they no longer work, and now your body has to do all the work. Uh, if you are eating you know, cooked foods, if you're not a raw foodist, that's totally fine. Uh, but the, the premise of these videos is to show you why it's important to incorporate more raw foods into your diet. But if you do eat cooked foods every now and then, one thing I would suggest is taking a digestive enzyme with that food. Uh, you can find a digestive enzyme at pretty much any health food store. And what these will do is pretty much like what, what raw foods will do. Is they'll give you, it'll, it'll give your digestive system, digestive tract, the enzymes that it needs to digest and break down the foods that you're eating that are no longer... Uh, full of enzymes. So something to think about, uh, those are enzymes. Enzymes basically, when you think of enzymes, think of energy. The more enzymes you can bring into your body, the little spark plugs that get the metabolic reactions going. So the more enzymes you have coming into your body, the more energy you're going to feel uh, as you incorporate more raw foods 
and start to eliminate some of the dead foods in your diet. So that's lesson two of Raw Food 101. Uh, again, come back to the website eatingforenergy.ca forward slash raw food 101 and you can get all these videos, the transcripts, and so much more uh, to get you started incorporating really, really, really healthy foods. Uh, and it's really, I mean, it's, it's not hard. Uh, and I'm going to show you how simple it is. So I'm Uriel King. I will see you in the next lesson.